So I've come across this um, game of names where it's a free spinner. You can customize all the different um, segments of the spinner. So here I've got a little example of opening it in a split screen with explain everything. And we're just looking at kind of openers, sentence starters. Um, you can customize all these little replies that come up. So if you actually like to give some instructions, you can. That's a little bit different from this one. You can remove that sentence starter at the end of it so that you don't keep coming back to the same starter. And it's just a great way of kind of um, getting that random aspect of, okay, I can use any sentence starters um, in different contexts. Um, with iPad, fantastic to use with a split screen. You can start to actually play around. You can share them uh, with other students, um, airdrop them and so on. In this example, uh, I've got a math spinner. So I've got the actual sum, the answer to the questions. And what the students have to do is kind of brainstorm different ways of coming up to that sum. Um, in this example, uh, you can see it's landed on 67. So you might get your students to brainstorm all the different uh, kind of operations, uh, different problems that can answer 67 as a result of that going forward. Um, just another way of using that spinner in a maths context. The next one comes up you could probably use in a range of different apps like Drawing Pad, but I'm using Keynote here and this could be just a phonetics lesson looking at um, sounds, maybe throwing in the difference between pH and F and trying to get kids to come up with um, I guess visuals that actually prompt that. So if it comes up with CH um, kids can actually kind of browse through the image gallery of shapes and come up with um, pictures that actually start with that letter combination phonetically. And the final one's a bit of a pastoral care kind of lesson where I've just added some emojis. And so you could have a class discussion in pastoral care time about uh, times when I felt angry or sad or confused. Um, and just to get people opening up a little bit and discussing feelings.